our first question for the evening, uh, quite an easy one, but I thought we can just maybe do this in case you guys haven't done this in a long time. So whenever they give you an equation like this where there is a square root, what you must do is get the square root alone, get the square, or well, let's do this, get the square root alone. Then what you do is you square both sides. Square both sides. So what do I mean by that? What you do is the following. You put a square on both sides, just like that. Now, what happens over here is that this two is going to remove this square root because a square is the opposite of a square root. So they cancel each other out. And so we end up with three minus 26 X equals to nine X squared. Then what we can do is take everything to the one side. Okay, now we can use the quadratic formula, but I'm gonna quickly get the answers because you guys know how to do that. Let's have a look. What we would find is that x is equal to 1 over 9 or x equals to minus 3. Now, grade 12s, this is where most of you lose one more mark. You lose one mark. Did you know that when you have a square root question, when you have a square root question like this, you should always, 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 always check your answer. So how does that work? Well, all that you do is you take the number, like one out of one over nine, and you put that into the place of X. Okay, so let me show you how that works. If X equals one over nine, let's quickly see what the left-hand side will become. And then we can see what the right-hand side will become. Okay, so I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put one over nine over here. So that's gonna give us, 3 minus 26 times 1 over 9. And if I work that out, I get uh, 1 over 3. 1 over 3. Then I'm going to put the right-hand side. So that'll be 3 times 1 over 9. And that also gives me 1 over 3. So therefore, left-hand side is the same as the right-hand side. And so that's good. This one is good. Now what we do is we're going to check out uh, this one. We're going to see what this one does. And so we can say um, if x equals 2 minus 3, then we can see that the left-hand side and then the right-hand side. So the left-hand side will be 3 minus 26 times by minus 3. And that gives us a value of 9. Oh, that's quite a nice answer. That gives us nine. And then on the right-hand side, we get three times minus three. Ah, look at this, guys. That gives us minus nine. And so the left-hand side is not the same as the right-hand side. And so for this one, this one over here, it'll be no solution. But if you forget to do that in a test, it's not the end of the world. They will only subtract one mark. Okay, so it's not the end of the world.